Hi, right, welcome back to DC Elite Basketball. I'm Coach Derek. Today we got a guest, Gavin, and today we're going to go over a five cone drill. It's part of a sort of a layup series. I like to use it with my basketball players and the teams I coach. Uh, we're going to work on attacking at different angles and little different scenarios of getting to the hoop. Uh, I'm just going to walk through this first, then I'm going to have Gavin go through it, and actually Cutler, who's behind the camera, is going to go. Good, get there quick. Get the hoop, attack, ball quick. Come out, crossover. Back finish, right hand long, good, ball quick. Cross them over. Left side finish, right hand. Good, ball quick. Cross them over. Good, ball quick. Cross them over, boom, right hand finish. All right, color, you ready? Three, two, one, and go. Good. Right hand finish. Good, get the ball quick. Good, explode. Good finish. Ball quick, cross them over. Boom, good. Little reverse, good, nice. Good, nice little in and out. Change it up a little bit, that's all right. And last one. Good, set the cross. Head over, nice, and finish. Good job. All right, now we're gonna go left side, Gavin. And these are all gonna be left hand finishes. Three, two, one, yep. Good, nice left, left finish. Again, you can jump off either foot with these. If you wanna jump off left foot, shoot left hand, that's totally fine. It's actually a more advanced move anyways. That's all right, good, get out quick. Good, last one, come to the corner, get there, and score, good. All right, Cuddy. Three, two, one, go. Good left finish, nice, get it out quick. Finish it still, nice save. Always save every dribble if you can, don't just pick up two hands, start fresh. Good, quick, 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 quick. Nice left jelly, that's all right, get it out quick. Got to push harder, let's go, got to push hard. Got to push hard. Good, last one. And break, all right, good set. All right, so Cutler and Gavin just walked through the drill, how we do the drill in practice. Uh, again, I have eight kids on our team. I'll put four at one end, four at the other. And what I like to do is once one finishes at the hoop on the very first take, the next kid will go. Um, so essentially you have three or four kids going at one time. And part of the drill also is being able for the kids to maneuver around other kids already in the drill to work on fighting through traffic and finishing. And uh, you know, just because we're finishing left hand and a kid misses it every time, that don't bother me because if you're not practicing finishing left hand, you're never gonna get good at it. So just stick with it and keep working on it, working at it. And the idea is just get out quick, get the reps in as quick as you can. It takes us about five to 10 minutes to get through the whole, the whole set of these. And the next set we're gonna work on is actual reverses. And we're gonna start in the corner with Gavin. And we'll show you what that looks and, like. All right, because Gavin's ready to go. And he's gonna finish on the opposite side of the hoop for reverse. And I try not to get my kids too fancy. I want them to be you know, pretty straight up with the ball here. Just a nice reverse, good, just like that. Coming out. Cross him over again. Good, once you get to this next cone, he's gonna finish on the other side of the hoop, right-handed. Good, and last cone here. Right-hand finish, reverse. Good, break. All right, color's up. He's there to get some bicycle reps in. <laughs> Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, good, okay, not too much jelly, just try to keep it straight up. Good, not bad. Again, some kids are gonna be way more advanced than others at this. Uh, Color's 11 years old, so he's still working on, you know, these types of things. Just trying to get better at them. Reverse, good. Now try to keep it right-handed, Color. You see there he did left-handed. Let's just try to coach him back to the actual drill we're working on. Good, not bad, all right. Next we're gonna to go to left hand finishes. 
And then again, our kids like to get uh, bicycle reps to keep their legs fresh and warm. <laughs> That's a total lie. I don't know why they're there on the bike. But uh, uh, so Gavin's gonna go up first. He's gonna go left hand finish, reverse, other side of the hoop. Three, two, one, go. Not bad. It's a good looking rep. That's right. Just a little more spin. He has it. Good. You know, a lot of these reverses we've already worked on you know, over the years. And just a matter of perfecting them and getting them down where they're comfortable. Again, these kids are uh, just 11 and 12 years old, so they're still fairly young. But I don't, I don't mind teaching kids more advanced moves at a young age within reason. Good, nice left, left. All right, Keller, your turn. Left hand finishes, reverses. Good, nice high off the backboard there, good. Get out quick. Tight, get back, get the next one. Good, nice Euro reverse there. Get it out quick, set him up. Good, get the hole. Good, that is actually a pretty hard reverse there. Um, if you're a basketball trainer, you know what I'm talking about for 11, 12 year old. All right, good. All right, there's the five cone drill. And as far as going straight from cone to cone and attacking, the last drill I like to do is we're going to start at the corner, attack the cone up for a double moving score, rebound, then we'll go two cones, rebound, then three cones, rebound, and four cones, rebound. And I want to show what that looks like right here myself. So just instead of going hoop to cone, so now you're going to go up to the next cone here and Depending on how, what your skill set is, you can make this any double move you want. And if you're a very young athlete, you just want to do a, a, like a, just a basic one, two crossover and score, you can do that. Uh, but with Gavin and Cutler today, we're going to do a uh, behind the back over top cross. So they're going to attack this cone. And they're going to work on setting up their defender for a counter move. So they're going to set them up here and counter move and score either hand now they can do right or left whatever the footwork is or whatever hand is comfortable so one more time they're going to come up full speed counter move make it finish left or right hand once they come back here now they're going to do that move twice so they're going to do this move first come to the next cone and score again Either hand, okay. Then they'll go one, two, three, score. Then one, two, three, four, score. All right, they're going to do it all the way around. They're going to be scoring four times. And uh, all right, let's see what it looks like. Two, one, let's get it. Come up, tack. Find the back of the top cross, good score. Good. Now you're going to do this twice. That's all right. So we're going to go behind the back, over top cross. Again, new drill. Kids might forget what they're doing for a split second. There we go. Work on finishing. And now he's going to do it for two cones this time. He'll be scoring from the top of the key, behind the back, over top cross, behind the back, over top cross. Go. Good. Okay, now he's going to do it three times. He'll be finishing on the wing. Good, set him up, cross him over, score, nice. Now last time he's going to finish from the very far corner. You can use this drill for skill, for getting conditioning, whatever you want. Um, I prefer doing these kinds of drills for conditioning and skill. Uh, I'll never have kids run suicides for conditioning, that's a waste of time. I ain't going to watch kids run back and forth. You know, if you're a coach watching this, Make sure you have your kids doing conditioning with a ball in their hand or it's game oriented. Don't just have them doing suicide just to run back and forth. All right, Kelly, ready? Three, two, one, get there. Behind the back, over top cross, boom, good score. Good, block quick, block quick. Now he's going to do it twice. Behind the back, over top, gets the next cone. Behind the back, over top, gets. Good, always save your dribble, finish the play, nice. 
Good. Good. Clear back to the starting point. Tight. Again, if it's a new drill, some kids might get a little lost. You just gotta coach them back. Everything's totally fine. Nothing hurt. Good. Score to the next one. Good. Get there quick, though. Don't die on me. Again, I like this drill because it teaches kids to finish when they're tired. It's part of my conditioning drill and warm-up drill, actually. You're going to finish from the corner this time. Good. Finish when you're tired. Concentrate. Be mentally strong. And break. All right. You can see the kids are just not quite conditioned yet uh, just because we're just early in the basketball season. Not the excuse, but they just got to keep them working. All right, Gavin. Corner. Left hand. Same thing. Behind the bed, things opposite this time. So behind the back, over top, across. Still, three, two, one. Good. Out of the corner. Good. Again, you can finish either hand on this one. Tight. Get up there quick. Behind the back, over top, across. Good. Good. From the corner. Good. Come on. Come on. Behind the back, over top, across. One more time. Top, cross. Boom. Get there. Good. Good, start over again. Again, it's a lot of reps. Skill and conditioning. Good, set them up. Double move. One more time, Gavin. Get there quick. Behind the back over, top cross. Uh, if you're watching this and you're a coach or a player, this don't have to be behind the back over top cross. It could be anything you want. You know, just moves I like to work on that they're not particularly good at yet as combo moves. All right, color. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yep. Behind the back over top cross. Score. Good, good. Good from the beginning. From the beginning. Got to be quick, though. Good. Behind the back. Next cone. Behind the back. Top cross. Good. Good, behind the back, over top. Nice. I think I've said behind the back, over top about 100 times. But I like to coach my athletes as they're going through the drills. Uh, all right, one more time. Come on. Concentrate. Don't do anything fancy. But try to reel your kids in if you feel like they're getting too out of control, trying to be uh, anything that's not within the drill. Good, get there. Finish strong. Left hand floater, not bad. All right. And good job. All right, that was the five cone drill. We went through a couple scenarios. Uh, that's pretty much a practice format, I would say. You know, other, other videos I have are more just sort of in, instructional. Uh, this is actually a drill setting I do at game speed with my athletes. It's great for coaches or even a player in your driveway or by yourself. So uh, just be sure to push yourself within your skill limit and be making sure you're moving a lot. Don't just start jogging it out just to finish, you know. You see as they got more tired, it was hard for them to finish. You know, just working on conditioning, okay. If you're a coach, you shouldn't be having your kids running suicides without a ball in their hand. They should be doing drills with the ball in their hand. Uh, this just helps them for the game. And as far as athletes want to get better, this is a great drill to attack at different angles and learn to finish different many ways. Uh, all right, Gavin, thanks for coming out. Might see him again. He's got the curls going. It's perm season here in Ohio. And until next video, keep practicing.